in the field of acquiring free traffic. Many people give up without seeing any results. The key reasons for this can be summarized as follows. Firstly, it's a lack of preparation. Beginners often overlook the importance of analyzing and selecting offers, keywords, or they attempt to scale without testing the system on a small scale. Secondly, there's a lack of automation and spending time on routine tasks. Also, significant roles are played by unnecessary expenses that could be avoided in the initial stages. For instance, purchasing paid services, traffic trackers when you don't have traffic, and leads yet. When I started dealing with traffic a couple of years ago, I faced these problems myself. At that time, I couldn't code and I relied on third-party software. Since then, I started learning Python and it has given me the necessary level of freedom and flexibility in my work. And now, I'm going to share some of my knowledge with you. In this video series, I'll guide you through the development of a system for acquiring free traffic from Pinterest from scratch. During the marathon, we'll learn to work with a tracker and affiliate networks. We will write several bots, including a bot for keyword parsing, for parsing and downloading videos from TikTok, for overlaying a call to action ticker on videos, for generating images, for writing titles and descriptions using ChatGPT, and for uploading videos and images. We will write all the bots in an object-oriented style. This will give you a practical understanding of its principles and mechanisms such as inheritance and polymorphism. Here's a list of what you'll learn throughout this process. Building this system will cost us zero dollars. We will only use our intelligence and Python programming skills. In today's video, we'll do the necessary groundwork starting with the source analysis. Let's take our traffic source and examine it closely. Firstly, let's assess the platform's demographics. This will help us tailor our offers more accurately to our audience. So what do we know about Pinterest? It's used by 482 million people monthly. 60% of its users are women, but the number of male users is growing. There's also a rising number of millennial and post-millennial pinners. We also observe that this audience has spending power. Also in the Audience Insights section of your account, you can see the breakdown of the global audience by age groups and other data. Now let's think about the traffic flows on this platform and the search queries. How does the search happen? Is there external traffic to the platform? The primary search occurs through the search bar. We also know that Google often includes Pinterest content in its search results. This information will be valuable for us when preparing keywords. It's also useful to evaluate trends. On this page, we can find ideas for current niches and offers that can be promoted right now. There are numerous affiliate networks available. For choosing a good affiliate network, it's helpful to review the rankings on the MThink website, which conducts the annual Blue Book survey to identify industry leaders. Additionally, aggregator services like OfferVault can be convenient. They consolidate and provide data about different affiliate networks and offers. If you're seeking my recommendation, I'd suggest working with Max Bounty, one of the market leaders with a vast number of offers in excellent conditions. If you register through the link in the description, you'll receive a 10% bonus on your first affiliate payment. If you're not accepted into a particular affiliate network, don't worry knock on another door, someone will surely accept you. Many offers overlap across different affiliate networks. Based on the audience analysis, we can identify several promising directions for work. Now let's choose an offer. Log in to the affiliate network and go to the offer section, then select the desired category. Each offer comes with key metrics. Firstly, there's the CPA type. This can be either fixed or a percentage. Next is the CPA rate. This is the payout amount for the offer per specified action. Finally, the earnings per click. Reflecting the offer's efficiency, EPC represents the average earnings for each click on the affiliate link. This metric is calculated by dividing the total earnings from the offer by the number of clicks. A high EPC is an indicator that the offer is lucrative per click making it particularly appealing. 
Okay, now let's rank the offers by EPC. Select one of the offers and carefully review its description. Check the allowed traffic sources and countries, then evaluate the landing page. It's advantageous if the landing page presents a bonus, such as a free trial, discount, or gift. We will utilize this information in our calls to action to enhance conversion rates. Next, gauge the offer's relevance using Google Trends. Choose the region worldwide and data for the last five years. Let's first evaluate the graph. It's good if the offer has a growing or stable trend. If the graph is slightly declining, that's also acceptable. Offers with a graph showing a deep decline are not suitable for us. This indicates that the offer is already saturated and people are no longer interested in it. A very jagged and rare graph is also undesirable. This means that there is no stable demand for this offer. So, let's get back to our offer. We see that it has a stable graph. This suits us. Now let's see in which regions the offer is popular. Check if there is popularity in our target region. These indicators are relative values of popularity and percentages of the total searches in this location. We can see that our offer is popular in the United States. Okay, additionally, let's look at the popularity graph in our target region. It's also useful to evaluate the data for the last year. And lastly, pay attention to the correctness of entering the query when checking in Google Trends. If you blindly copy the offer name from the affiliate network, you may get incorrect data. Sometimes it's necessary to separate words or remove a word to get accurate information. Setting up the traffic tracker is essential for professional and systematic handling of our traffic. A traffic tracker is a tool designed for analyzing and monitoring traffic, offering various features that simplify work with offers and advertising campaigns. Traffic trackers are divided into cloud-based and server-based, depending on the installation method. Some popular solutions with free plans are BMob and Zeus Tracker. Free plans usually have limitations, primarily on the number of events for tracking. However, for the initial stages of working with traffic, the features of a free plan will be quite sufficient. I'll guide you through the basic setup using BMob as an example. To get started, register on the BMob website. Now, let's walk through the basic setup of the tracker. To begin, let's add the affiliate network. Go to the Affiliate Networks tab and select New from Template. Then choose your affiliate network and click Next. If you're adding the affiliate network from a template, leave all the settings as default. However, let me briefly explain them. Each affiliate network has a mechanism called a sub-ID. This mechanism is created to pass information captured by the tracker to the affiliate network. To do this, the click ID parameter is automatically added to the offer links. We can see this sub ID parameter for our affiliate network in this field. To have this parameter added automatically, this checkbox should be checked. Now, as for the use postback statuses checkbox, some affiliate networks support passing the conversion status through a postback URL. This option allows enriching your conversions report and tracking the status of conversion from newly appeared to approved or declined. If this option is not activated by default, there's no need to activate it. Leave everything else as default. Now we need to copy the postback URL and add it to the affiliate network. The postback URL is required to pass the conversions data from the affiliate network to our tracker. So copy the postback link. Then go to your affiliate network and find the settings for the global postback. Paste your link there and save. Excellent, the affiliate network is added. Now let's add a traffic source. We have our own traffic source that isn't in the templates, so choose new. Give our source a name. Next, we need to set the parameters that will be added to the links of our campaigns so that we can track the keyword and the type of creative that led to the conversion. To do this, add the following values to the respective field. Leave the rest of the settings as default and save. Now we just need to add an offer. To do this, go to the Offers tab and click New. Enter the name and choose the country for the offer. The country here is just for simple navigation through the list of offers. This setting does not affect the distribution of traffic. Next, choose the affiliate network that you added. Now we need the link to the landing page. 
To get it, go to your affiliate network and navigate to the desired offer. Then, in the link building settings, choose the traffic source and the desired landing page. Copy the generated link and paste it into the tracker. Leave the other settings as default and save. That's it! The basic tracker setup is complete. Here's your homework for today. You need to register in an affiliate network, choose three offers, and set up a traffic tracker. And, of course, prepare PyCharm for further work. That's it for today. Next time, we'll prepare keywords for our offers and write our first Python bot.